Hey guys, Mr. Simpkins here. You know what sucks? Turning in something and thinking that you did it because you actually did, and then your teacher goes, yo, the file's blank, you get a zero. That really sucks, doesn't it? I'm gonna try to give you some tips today, if you get in this boat often, of how to, to avoid this. And it's all about digital organization. So that sounds really fancy, but it's really not that bad. Check this out. So here's our module for this week, right? And you can see here's all the assignments you gotta turn in. So if I click on the assignment right here, um, it's going to say, hey, download the uh, copy of the packet and submit week 18 async 2. Now, your different teachers, you know, they might say, uh, they would put a date on it, they might put a title to it. But here's what you want to do um, is take the document, and I'll drag it down here. It's loading up for me here. Uh, I like to give my students the entire week packet at the beginning of the week so they know what's coming. And some of your teachers might do that. Uh, but if you're going to submit something, here's my overall packet. So here's the first thing you should do. If you do have a teacher like me who gives you everything for the week right at the outset, you want to do file and save as. So sorry, I do this all the time. I got to slow down because this is a tutorial video. So look, go over here, hit file and hit save as. And then you want to browse. All right, so browse here like this. And I would highly recommend creating folders for each class on your desktop. So the way to do that is to click this. So you have desktop over here, right? And you say new folder, and I'm gonna type it in and say physics. Maybe I'll say, you know, physics with Mr. Simpkins or something like that, right? And so I'll go ahead and make it like that. And now that you've done that, you're gonna hit open. Well, maybe not. There it goes, try again. Click on this folder right here, and now you've made a folder on your desktop called Physics with Mr. Simpkins. And right here you can see week 18 angled projectiles whole packet. So this is like the whole deal yo for the whole week. So what I just did right there is I went to the module page, I downloaded the packet for the week, and checked this out. Now when I look at my desktop, all right, let's see. Oh man, mine's a little messy here, isn't it? Uh, I got all kind of stuff all over the place. Here we go. Boom, right there. Hopefully your desktop is less messy than mine. See right there? It says physics with Mr. Simpkins. So anytime you download something new from Canvas, you can drop it right here. And if you double click on this, it'll show you all your stuff. Now the way I code my class should make it really easy because it's all coded by what week we're on. So it'll be in chronological order. But what about like this single assignment thing? All right, How do you stop turning in blank documents when you thought you had it done? Well, here's our week packet, so I'll open it up because I saved it in a very easy to find place called, you know, Physics with Mr. Simpkins. And so we'll open this puppy up by double clicking on it. Maybe. Here it is. Okay. And um, if I go to Canvas and I look at the, the description of the assignment, all right, it says your job is to fill out all the yellow boxes. And you notice it says, it's, uh, it's week 18 async 2. Now again, your different teachers do different things. It might say that the turn in the assignment titled or whatever. But what you don't want to do is submit the entire packet to your teacher, right? Because that's annoying for them and it's frustrating for you to have to scroll all the way down to do this. So what I just did is I click and drag and I highlighted everything that I am not turning in. I hit delete, boom. So I just blew up everything. Now, be very careful about what you do next. You want to do file, save as. And then, instead of this whole packet, I'm going to call it week 18. And the title of my assignment, as Mr. Simpkins put it up on the module, is week 18 async. I mean, you can actually just copy and paste this if you want. You can click and drag. You can copy and you can paste that as the title of this. Okay? The name won't work because it includes a weird character. Oh, this little character here. All right, hold on. Got to get rid of that little colon in there. There we go. Okay, so now look at what we just did, okay? I just got rid of all the other junk that I've been doing from the rest of the week, right? And now I have created just the assignment that I need to turn in. So look, this is the assignment that my teacher wants from me, week 18 async 2 projectile. Here's the description how to do it. Now that I've made this its own file, there's no confusion. So, so when I go to turn this in, right, uh, let's see if I go to my student view, you should be able to see what this looks like here. If I go to... Where's it at here? Where's the little glasses at? There we go. What you guys are going to see when you go to turn in this assignment right here is, of course, the little submit button right up here. And this is probably where you're submitting blank files and getting zeros because you're not sure which file to pick. But if you make a folder for your class and you do file save as for each individual assignment, watch this. It takes, takes the guesswork out of it, right? When I choose my file and I go to desktop, and I go to Physics with Mr. Simpkins. There it is. Week 18 asynchronous to Pokejectile. 
Yes, I have weird assignment names, I know. But there's no ambiguity as to which file you are submitting. And so you can click that, you can say submit assignment, and the thing about this is, uh, there, you don't need to guess whether you submitted it correctly or not. Because I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but look, right here, okay, it says submission details, and you can download what you just submitted. So you can double check to make sure this is the right thing. So if I download it, now of course mine's blank because it didn't do anything, right? But if you download it, you should see all of your work there that's completed. So this is the strategy that you want to use to avoid this really frustrating thing where you think you submitted your work, but you accidentally submitted an entire blank page of nothing on it, all right? The, the strategy is make a folder for each class, and actually here's another way to do it. You can right click on the desktop and hit new folder, and now I can say history with Schnur, or well, with fair, all right? So I can do it with whatever teacher I have and make a folder for each one of your teachers. I can't spell because I'm a physics teacher. Um, but, but you want to save all the documents related to that class in there. And guess what? You can even make folders within folders. So you can, uh, if you have a particular unit, you know, you can uh, save that unit there if you want. Uh, using these digital organization skills are very important. The biggest takeaway from today is that save as button. All right, so make a folder where you can put everything and go file, save as, and title it the thing that you're working on that day. Okay. The other big idea is that after you submit things, you can re-download your submission to verify that yes, it did go through and yes, it is complete. All right. So I hope this video helped you guys out. I hope this alleviates some frustration. Uh, I know you guys are working hard already, so I don't want you to uh, have extra anxiety or, or anxiousness or frustration when you did do the work and you're not getting credit for the work simply because you didn't turn the right file in. So until next time, this is Mr. Simpkins in the Simpkins Physics Corner here with a few digital skills for you here today.